So this very lady cut off from a close friend of hers who relocated to the UK and never ever mentioned that to her until she made a joke about it after six months. This lady, this friend of hers, has been in the UK. And that was when she opened up to say she had traveled six months back ago. This lady was shattered, broken, disheartened, you know. A close friend, you know what that means. And we have a culture in Africa, especially in Nigeria, not Africa, sorry, in Nigeria, my country. We are sort of, um, when it comes to our plans to travel, to go on holiday, good news is same as somebody who is pregnant. We don't share things like that. If you are planning to travel, sometimes you keep that away from even your close relatives, your friends. Uh, because of one um, odd ideology that um, if you should start talking about um, your plans to fly, people might be with you. Um, that plan might not come true. You know, something like that. I think that is the reason. If that is not the reason, please correct me in the comment section because this lady did this to her friend and her friend was really shattered. Now, as a person or as a couple, yeah, my husband and myself, we had, we've had similar experiences too of this kind of thing happen to us. When I was in Nigeria, I returned from the UK. My husband's friend, he was living in one of the states in Nigeria. I don't want to mention the states. You know, they were about, they were seeking for information on how to like uh, leave Nigeria. So my husband let this guy speak to me on the phone if I could give any directives. And as at that moment, I attended one of the programs organized by this Australian uh, uh, immigration thing. Uh, you know, in uh, Atikeja, where they have the British embassy, you know. So I told this guy you, that he might want to try Australia, you know, look at what I learned from the seminar, look at how their programs are run, the study, the visa, and all what have you. That I mentioned to this, um, my husband's friend, you know, even the wife, I was able to speak with the wife on the phone. And after about five months, you know, when we related back to them again, all we heard was that they are now, they are then in Australia. My goodness. My husband was like, how did this happen? Me too. I said, okay, maybe they, don't, they didn't want to share. And that was how it died. And, but did we feel hurt? Yes, we did. You know, you know when you were just directing somebody, tell, giving somebody information, and that person finally got that. It didn't let you know. It, it hurts in a way. But then, this is just the way we are in Nigeria. The second experience we had was when we were in Saudi Arabia. We had a Nigerian there, a the fresh couple, you know. All of us were relating very well, three families, you know. So one of them, they moved down to the UK. <laughs> and then we all have uh, numbers. We chat. In fact, not that we have numbers. We chat all the time. We call on the phone. We ping. We talk. You know, even when they left before us, we were still in Saudi Arabia with another family. All of a sudden, we saw a post on Facebook. They've given birth to a baby. I just saw the thing. I congratulated them. And my husband was on the phone with that man yesterday. He never mentioned that. My husband they congratulated them. We went to the other neighbor, who is also a Nigerian. We said, ah, did you see these people don't bother? He said, like, seriously, they did not mention that, but they put it on Facebook. That was that. We never knew that they were pregnant. Talk more of things like this. Nigerians don't share. It is obvious. But sometimes when you are close to somebody and the person did not, you know, it hurts. Just like this person stated in, in, in her post and a lot of comments poured in here. So this person wrote, somehow I can't let go of her hurt. Stephanie made me feel. Anyone who knows me knows I'm not one to behold grudges but this one hurts me to the bone marrow i don't know how i can forgive her leaving nigeria six months before and not telling me until i made a joke about it you see to that <laughs> so a lot of comments came in somebody said i've never felt entitled to any information that is personal to another people 
you know, if they don't want to share, that's their choice. Everything I do is a choice. Respect people's choices as well. Hey, this one, my English, you know, <laughs> I don't know. This person just spoke. This very person just spoke her mind. Now, this comment said, when you genuinely care for someone, this kind of things would actually hurt you. This is the truth. It's not about jealousy or ill feelings. A whole six months. You know, even if you didn't want to tell the person, maybe when you arrive, you can call. Hence, both of you are really, really close. And somebody said, some of you are friends who don't even consider you as friends. This is true. Yes, because if you can hide certain things from somebody you call your friends, you are very, very, in quotes, close to, you know, that means you don't consider that person as a friend. This person said, my sweet friend carried me along as she was preparing to jump back. We would rub minds, laugh, cry together. That's how true friendship works. So, you know, next, there are some things people don't understand on, until it is your turn. <laughs> I don't know. What do we not understand? You're preparing to travel. Your close friend, you don't want to tell the person. Six months have you've traveled, you didn't open up to tell the person. Oh, no. He gets a CB to my own understanding. I don't know what you think. You know, somebody says, stay away from her forever. She doesn't consider you a friend. She would only come to you whenever she needs you. There are friends like that. See, as a content curator, I'm telling you the truth now. You know, though these people are not my friends, they come to me to seek information. They disturb you day in. But by the time they arrive this country, they will forget you entirely. You'll be the one to reach out to them. They will, oh, yes, we arrived there two months ago. I am really sorry I didn't call. You are not expecting anything, but coach see. You understand? Cut see demand. Yes, it's just simple. You are not expecting nothing. You're already here too, you know. But some people are just, should I say, ignorant? I don't care. Next, her heart is valid. I could remember reaching out to my friends before embarking on my current journey. How do you claim to be friends with people you don't trust? Sharing such information with. Friendship requires a lot. Accountability respect trust accommodation know this and know your peace yes see nigeria even if you are pregnant you don't want to share there are limits as to what nigerians could share you know you cannot hide pregnancy forever especially if you live around they will know that you're pregnant i know don't tell them the sex of your baby um don't tell them your due date this is common ask a nigerian woman how um, what are you expecting they will say they don't know you know um when are you due they don't know and you, as a woman, if you have given birth before, you know that the very first day, six, six weeks scan, that is when they will tell you your due date. But Nigerian women, even when they are belayed on the draw for granted, they will deny. They don't even know what year they will deliver. Talk more of the month. Let's go on. This person, my so-called best friend left Nigeria a year after I did. She moved to the same UK that I live in. The day she was on transit, I tested her. <laughs> Yet, this lady moved here for months and never informed me. When I found out three months later, I gently blocked her line. <laughs> you know, this is a lady who knows everything about me, who is supposedly my best friend. In retrospect, I realized she always wants to know everything about you, but keeps everything about herself that's, that she can hide. A secret. Maybe I am the wrong. Maybe I am not. But I'm not staying around to find out. You see, to that, some people are just, they just want to, they are nosy to know every information about you. But when it is their turn, oh my, hey, they open up that secret chamber, hide it, lock it with a key. You don't know anything about them. For you to be this hot, she did the right thing. You are a witch. This person is talking on a neutral level. I totally understand how you feel, but sometimes you don't tell people around you your plans. Also, you need to evaluate how close you guys are. Course, because only people within my immediate cycle would know. Now, this person said, it's obvious you are a self-centered person and you talk too much. Look how you came on social media to talk about your friend's progress in a negative way, even them dropping, be happy for their progress and also work on yours. And somebody replied this person, what is self-centered about her post? That someone you call a very 
close friend left Nigeria without you knowing. Is that what you call self-centered? <laughs> this person said, it's really nothing that deep, Sha. My cousin traveled to Turkey in 2021 and she was living with me all the while. Hmm. I had a friend that was also around at the time and I introduced them to each other. But when she was on and about her traveling plans, my friend knew. <laughs> she told her, but left me in the dark. Imagine my surprise when I saw a video of her in Turkey. <laughs> Some weeks later, I returned the same energy. I viewed her status and I didn't even say a word. She was the one that felt guilty and was looking for a way to explain. But I told her not to bother that it's her parents. She owes an explanation, not to me. That was it. That's a permanent rift between us. I doubt it will ever change. Simple thing. You know, you could have even called when you arrived your destination to say, sorry, I've traveled though. Uh, it was really an emergency, blah, blah, blah. That's why I didn't tell you to cover up some shit. My close friend from uni left Nigeria to UK sometime in 2022. I had been calling her weekly till sometime in March. And she told me she had been in the UK since six months. <laughs> I just blocked her everywhere. <laughs> this lady is funny. Fast forward to today, she reached out on Instagram and wished me a happy birthday. I didn't even open the message and I deleted her friend request. People I call my friends have re relocated. I think Ibrahim and Neka's relocation hurt me the most, but I was aware of this too. You see, guys, if I keep reading this comment, we can go on and on. But Nigerians, Africans, tell me the reason why we are so like this. Even to our family members. In fact, the worst is to our relatives. You know, we see them as witches and wizards. You know, though there has been a case, a scenario whereby somebody was traveling. The uncle, I saw that on social media. The uncle seized the boy's passport for 20 years. 20 years later was when the uncle released the passport that had visa stamped visa on it to travel to Godo Ibu. you know i think these are some of the reasons most africans or most nigerians they don't like to share things like this apart from their loved ones their relatives i had a close relative mm -hmm. the person was planning to travel for over two years he didn't even tell the parents until for over two years, or if not for more than two years, because I knew when I was in Saudi Arabia, we made an arrangement for travel that failed. Their pass his passport was stolen. I had to pay because I introduced him to the agency after I arrived in the UK. So it's been like over two years. This person has been making preparations. Lately, he got his visas and everything. And he was saying he has not told the mom. I said, please, oh, you have to tell your parents. The last week of his traveling, that was when he called the dad and the mom told both of them these are his parents you know all of us we had a video um a video whatever conversation and all what have you you know so most africans they do this they extend this um being secretive to their loved ones immediate family members but that is horrible <laughs> i think everybody in my family knows every step i take my sibs are the first i would always run to if i'm sick if anything is happening i'm having any procedure i go to them to seek for prayer to let them know because they pray a lot, you know. I don't know why we do this. Please leave your comment in the comment section as to why we are so so secretive about everything, even about even about anything and everything. We Nigerians are simply like that. Thank you so much, so much for watching this content. Like, comment, and keep coming back for more. Bye.